where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Good evening, everyone. We thank you so much for watching. I'm John Evans. I'm Francis Weller. People driving off with full trunks after taking full advantage of these closing sales. WECT has confirmed two family dollar stores in Wilmington will shut down. The parent company Dollar Tree has announced that more than 600 family dollar stores will close across the country by the end of this year. WECT's Delaney Tarpley visited a couple of locations that plan to close here. Now you heard from a lot of people, Delaney, that rely on those stores, though. That's right, John. They said the locations are easy to walk to and convenient for a lot of families without cars. And those prices just can't be beat. But as one researcher tells me, the store closings could potentially open the door for something better. Loading up the car outside Family Dollar, potentially one last time. I got everything y'all needed from the store. But Kristen Holcomb says this Family Dollar on Greenfield Street was her most frequented grocery store. This is like a convenient spot where you could get the buses stop right here. But now everything must go. Both this location and the Family Dollar on Carolina Beach Road, two of nearly 600 Family Dollar stores closing across the country. It's hectic for families that don't have the transportation to get around. I don't understand why um, stuff changes so fast and hard for us. PhD candidate Ali Reimold studies the impact of dollar stores in our area. Here, especially within New Hanover County, we have more dollar stores by land area than any other county in North Carolina. She says particularly in neighborhoods near the Greenfield Street location, food access is already an issue. In the state of North Carolina, rates of food insecurity are around 15 percent. But in a study Reimold conducted last year, she found that 83 percent of respondents from the south side were food insecure. And dollar stores do provide food access to individuals who don't have other resources available to them or who are priced out of our traditional grocery stores. They might not always be the healthiest option, though. But on the other hand, these dollar stores do often only offer ultra-processed products that are high in sodium, saturated fat, and sugar. That's why Rymold is trying to look at these closures as a potential chance for change. This is a really good opportunity for communities to organize and come together to advocate for themselves and talk to local leaders about the fact that a dollar store was never good enough. They need food access. But in this moment, it still feels like a loss to Holcomb. I feel like we need more for the African-American communities, um, shelters, you know, food banks. This right here isn't really helping us. It's kind of like a slack down. We should mention there is a relatively new food bank just a few blocks away from that family dollar. I spoke to employees at both locations, though, and they tell me they haven't even been told yet what official date they'll close their doors for the last time. We'll have to keep an eye on that situation. Delaney, thanks.